I think Tech had put out in the alumni magazine an article on the analytics program and it sounded really interesting to me. I'd heard that he was looking into doing it and I'm like, well, I know I want to get my master's. Um, my company pays for it so I should just go ahead and do it. I graduated here in 1988 with my undergrad in mechanical engineering. I stayed for grad school in 89. At the time, the advice was stay and you'll get it done and never have to do it again. <laughs> but never say never. I came here for undergrad for industrial engineering in 2018. Um, and similar to my dad, we found this program we're like, this would be kind of cool, and we ended up doing it together, so. Sarah is so sharp and conscientious, so as far as teams, I'm like, Sarah. Yeah, we because try and like rig the project team, so like, not rig, because you can choose it, but be like, all right, we've already got two, now we need two more, let's be, <laughs> you know, we got each other. We knew we could count on each other, mm -hmm. and that takes a lot of that stress off. Part of my thing is kind of retool and stay relevant. Yeah, I was like, I still got it. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I've been so impressed with Georgia Tech and the, the online offerings that they've got. It's like, I, I think it's spreading everywhere. I've already got three other people on my team at work who I'm like, hey, you should check this out, and now they're doing it. So it's it's huge. I think it's they do a fantastic job. It's really neat to see how tech has, uh, I think, evolved um, yeah, to meet you know yeah. meet the challenges and the needs, especially when you look at what's going on with COVID now. This couldn't be, you know, this type of learning. It, it's uh, it couldn't be more applicable than what we're seeing right now. Who gets to walk first? <laughs> you probably. No, you. <laughs>